I'm trying to get up to, you know, I'm, I'm reaching the next new milestone in my videos on YouTube. I'm only a few away from 300. And I th keep, I'm thinking and debating whether or not I should uh, delete some of my videos. I'm going to continue to make videos, but I may, I'm probably not going to make them as often as I used to. I used to do it almost every day. But, and because I don't think I really, you know, I think I got to a point where I'm just, I don't want to go in circles. But I think that there is a kind of going in circles issue. I keep repeating the same thing, but the same themes. Yeah, I think that, you know, I know that I've gotten comments about being positive, and I like to thank people, you know, for a lot of the complimentary things that people have said, you know, the compliments, not complimentary compliments, and things like that, but, um, and I don't really, like, respond to people a lot, and I, sometimes, I, I, I'm not going to say I feel guilty about that, but I just, you know, I'm not 100% sure about everything I'm doing all the time, I'm just speaking my mind, that's all. I could be right or I could be wrong. I always think it's funny that when people become so absolutely certain of themselves, they don't, they're not open to anything. I'm actually somewhat uncertain, uncertain. And in many ways, I'm kind of more like what I think science people should be like, for example. If people want to think of themselves as being scientific or science-minded, meaning that, you know, you have to go with wherever evidence takes you. So if people can show me evidence contrary to something, I'll go along with that. But as you know, as far as I know, I'm going to go where I'm going. That doesn't guarantee I'm right. That's why I never like people following me. You know, I don't like people seeing me like as a guru or as a teacher or anything because I'm not. I'm just a person with a camera and an opinion. It's like what I see on my channel. I'm just a guy with a camera and an opinion. I'm not 100% certain about anything. I'm always looking at things and re-examining things. And I think that's something all of us can do. We can, you know, ask ourselves, what is it that I believe and why do I believe that? And should I really continue to believe it? And is it doing me any good? Is it doing me any harm? Because, you know, every belief that you have either serves you or it doesn't serve you. Some beliefs just don't serve you. You know, one might ask me, why don't I believe in Santa Claus? Because it doesn't serve me. You know, I, actually, when I look back, I don't know if I ever did believe in Santa Claus, ever. You know, there are beliefs I used to have, and then I no longer believe them, because they just don't work for me. And I don't have to justify that to anybody. It, the only justification for me holding a belief is, does it serve me? If it serves me, I keep it. If it doesn't, I drop it. Same thing with relationships. You know, if someone doesn't serve me, and I don't mean like somebody being a slave, but I mean, if this relationship isn't helping me to grow or to become a better person, and if I'm not helping somebody else to grow or become a better person, you have to think about those things. This is true of friendships, love relationships, everything else. You know, at some point, at some level, we really are here to serve each other. We're here to help each other. I think that's really our purpose, and we don't need any more purpose than that. You know, if if you believe in God, you can look at it like, you know, that helps me to serve God by helping others. And if you don't believe in God, you can still think in terms of serving other people. See, I'm a person who's neutral on the issue of religion. I mean, I have my own personal belief. Yes, I do believe in God, but I, you know, I'm not I'm not pushing that on anybody. Everybody has a mind. They have the ability to think. They can decide for themselves what they want to believe or what they don't want to believe. So I never try to push that on anybody ever. But I just think about things. About the fact that no matter what, we still have to serve somebody. I think about that the this song by uh, Bob Dylan. You know, you're gonna have to serve somebody. <laughs> it's a great song. But you're going to have to serve somebody, and no matter who it is, and no matter who you are. At some point, in some job, in whatever job you do, in whatever profession you're in, you're serving somebody. You could be the telephone operator, you could be the truck driver, you could be a doctor. You're going to serve somebody. So, 
you want to do things in a way that makes a difference, that really helps, that you're really doing the best you can. You know, that's the way I feel. Because as long as I'm doing that, I actually feel good about myself when I'm at work. You know, the type of job I have is not a fancy job. I'm not a teacher. I just work, you know, at a very low-level job. But I do a lot of writing. Hopefully one day I'll finish writing my book and publish that. And, it, you know, then I have to deal with the, the paparazzi and stuff like that. <laughs> but that's just me. But I just believe that the thing is that at some point you just have to serve people. And you do what you can. You have that kind of mind that says, I want to do good. I want to do good. You know, I'm not so much interested in what you believe after that. If you believe in a god or a snake or a burning tree or whatever. What I'm interested in is that you think in terms of, I want to make a positive contribution. And you step back every so often and you examine, am I really doing that? Am I really helping others? Am I really serving? You know, that's the thing. That's just a thought on my mind. Just a thought that I got about things. That's all. And I'm not leaving YouTube. Every so often I always say, <laughs> every day I always think I'm going to leave because sometimes I just wonder if I'm going to continue with this, but I'm not leaving this. At least not now, not in the foreseeable future, that's for sure. <laughs>